hey my loves welcome back to my channel so um today i come back with another crazy tutorial it's been a while since i've done this on my hair so it's a tutorial on my hair i'm trying to create um i don't know which year was this but when sierra did the two big pom-poms thing is that's what i'm trying to do but i'm trying to do it on this length of hair this is not bad compared to what i used to do like back in the day my hair literally like is a bit longer it definitely is a bit longer and i know that i can do this on it like right now <laughs> so today we are doing that to my new subscribers welcome welcome to my channel thank you so so much for joining my family and to my day ones we've been here since the beginning thank you so so much for sticking by and staying here and being part of my family all this time i hope you guys are gonna enjoy this crazy tutorial it's not gonna be that crazy because of the length of the hair i really used to do like magic on my hair well i call it magic and some of the people that have watched my videos will be like okay like how did you pull that off you know so we're gonna try to pull off um, now we're gonna try to pull off the style that sierra did back in the day i've always loved that style but i never really had hair like <laughs> since for a very long time um so to pull that off so today we're gonna do that so without wasting any more of your time let's get right into the video my hair is wet and i'm wearing this t-shirt because it is like really wet uh, but now it's yeah it still is wet i don't know if you can see that on my hands that it is still a bit wet so i'm just gonna moisturize it and then we'll start doing the things onto it i'm mostly gonna moisturize my scalp Ooh. using this product you guys have seen this before this is the um ors olive oil um, with black castor oil and almond oil scalp balm so I'm just gonna put some of that on my palm and then I'm just gonna rub it uh, on my palms and then I'm just gonna try to use uh, the tips of my hands to massage it on my scalp this is just for my scalp I love how it makes my scalp feel oh no I forgot I forgot something I forgot to put in the leave-in conditioner but yeah I guess I can still do that right after this I don't know how but I'm just gonna try okay so now that we are done with that I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of this and Jakey's uh, what is it quench moisture intensive leave-in conditioner uh, I usually put this oh my word I'm spilling I'm making a mess but yeah I usually put this before I even put the scalp balm so, okay so I'm just gonna rub that in on my hair this makes my hair feel really really soft and it really smells divine I don't think it's gonna be a problem that I put it after I put um, the after I put this balm, <laughs> the scalp balm, I'm sorry. Okay, so I do not really intend to put a lot of product on my hair uh, since I'm still gonna like put a lot of gel onto it right now um, to try and achieve this look to make sure that everything is slick and just laid it down. I combed my hair when I was washing it earlier, so I do not have a lot of knots onto it now but there still are some knots because I combed it <sighs> I'm all over the place <laughs> but yeah I combed it using this white tooth comb and that's what we're gonna start with again I'm just gonna comb it now again just to detangle it So here's some of the hair that's coming out with a comb there's some fallout because I really haven't been combing my hair for a very very long time 
I've just literally been washing it and then I will just pull my fingers through it and that will be it and my hairline <laughs> my hairline is still like a bit messed up from those hairstyles but yeah we're getting there as long as there's hair um, I think it's gonna grow eventually so that is my hope I don't know what's up with the lightning with the lighting I'm using like natural light from a window and I feel like it's not enough and that I need to plug in my ring light I am not sure I think I certainly do especially from this side there's a lot of shadow so just a minute let me get my ring light and then we continue with this tutorial I will see you guys now in a bit okay I think that is much better uh, I do not know but um, as I'm looking like now on the screen because I did not connect the monitor this is looking much better um, than the shadow that was here um, you guys can certainly see both sides that's what I think now let's get creating this magic so I couldn't find my retail comb we're gonna use this um, this is the brush I used to dye my hair so we're gonna use the tip of it to part my hair and you guys if you have watched my previous videos when I create um, the thing is the pom-poms or the pondos <laughs> I don't know what to call it but whenever I would create those I would like braid um, put like two or three braids um, where, wherever I'm gonna like plug in the the tail or the pondo I don't know what is it in English I don't know why the word is what is it called in English I do not know what it's called but to anchor whatever that I will be attaching on my hair I will create those braids but I feel like my hair is long enough to sort of have like a little bit of a ponytail not a ponytail man what do you call the ponder in English guys <laughs> I do not know but I will just use these things just to hold a little bit of a barbie thingy here and then that will be my anchor to attach these. These are the pondos that we'll be using. Wait, what? Well, it's written Afro Pondo so I guess that's what it's called. So these, I have two of these. The other one I already put out of the packet. This is how it's looking like. It's synthetic, so it's not genuine afro, and the curl pattern is media. Yeah, uh, we will make it work. We will make it work. And uh, what else? What else? We will use this gel. Um, however, last time the eco styling gel, when I tried to use it for my edges, it didn't work quite well. But back in the day, it used to work for what we are trying to achieve today. I'm hopeful that it's gonna work. If it's failing, we're gonna mix it with this. But this is pretty much empty, hence why I'm saying we're gonna mix. Literally, I'm left with that amount in here because I use this to I used to use it um to glue in my wigs, so that's why I am running out. But now I didn't buy it because I wanna try this gel right here, which is the got to be. I guess we can try to use it somewhere and then to seal everything I'm gonna attempt using this got to be spray uh, because I saw it on the Gorilla Girl that other year when I did not have her to try it <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna do let's get creating guys okay so first off we're gonna try to create a parting on my hair so I have my mirror on top of me in a very awkward position I'm gonna try to be looking at it most of the time hopefully you guys can still see me I'm really gonna try to make sure that I'm still in frame so we're just gonna part my hair in the middle okay you guys can see me but I feel like I'm like a little bit down I think that is a little bit better isn't it I think it is okay so we're gonna start by parting my hair Okay, I'm just gonna use this pin to try and hold one side so that this parting is uh, is kept going <laughs> I don't know how to describe it it's definitely hard to use this because it's not as sharp as a retail comb 
but I just couldn't find my Raytel comb so now I'm here and I do not know where is the rest of these clips as well that I'm using here to part my hair okay so I think to make things easier for me I'm just gonna start um, by holding in the piece of hair that I'm gonna use as an anchor right here yeah I think this is the right part because I want the pom-poms to be like here so I'm just gonna hold this piece of hair using this <laughs> and then this is where I'm basically going to attach the pondo this side yeah let's see when I attach here okay I think it's going to work let's try the other side and do the same this is here okay I think that's good symmetry I'm just holding the amount of hair that I think is good enough or can be held using this band right here yep I think that should do and then another thing that I think I'm gonna do to make things easier I'm going to start applying the gel on one side and lay that side because right now I'm in the pits trying to hold the part and my hair is actually getting dry now so let us try to do that I'm using the eco styling gel like I said And this is the amount I took and I'm just gonna try to put that in and gel my leg <laughs> and gel my hair down onto the direction of the little pondo that I just created now okay so far that is working perfectly I think Okay, I'm just gonna take this out as well and try to apply the gel this side too. Alrighty, so now just to try and make sure that everything is laid down I'm just gonna use this brush right here and then I'm gonna brush the gel in just making sure that everything is laid down nicely and that there are no lumps and that the gel is through every strand of my hair that's what I'm gonna try to do
okay guys so as you can see it's like I'm struggling to put my head down but it is down a bit and some parts are still lumpy and I'm hoping that the Duke will do its job when it comes to those parts but the gel is actually drying while I'm busy doing all this process so I want to quickly do this side off of camera but I'm literally going to do the same thing that I did this side I used another scrunchie to try and um, hold all the hairs that were coming towards here but obviously I couldn't hold all of the hairs because my hair is not that long that I can just make um, one pom pom on one side so I'm just going to quickly do this side finish it up um, and then I'm going to come back on camera and show you guys how everything is looking like before I put on the duck and let everything set I'll see you guys now okay guys so the hair on my back like as you can see here is really being stubborn I've been trying to lay it down but it's being stubborn and also here like close to the pom-poms it's really being stubborn but I am hopeful that the Duke will actually help to put it down and everything when everything is set that it will all be laid down but the parting I'm happy with and this part that's actually gonna show when I have pom-poms I'm happy about that so let's put on the duke and see how everything is gonna be like well I'm using a durag and I'm gonna use this silky part um, instead of using the inner part on my hair so that it doesn't stick because I feel like if I wrap it using this side uh, compared to this side then it's gonna stick so let's literally hope for the best <laughs> let's really hope for the best I'm just gonna put this on and pull it as much as I can just to make sure that everything is really held and laying down hopefully I'm not messing up anything hey <laughs> I'm really really hopeful because I've always wanted to try and create this hairstyle okay so I guess right here like at the top it won't be as tight because of the pom-poms but it is holding it is holding and then yeah and that's it guys I'm just gonna let this set for like an hour or so and then I'm gonna come back here and show you guys how everything looks like <laughs> and then we're gonna put on um, the pom-poms I'm just gonna hold this like so so that it doesn't create any bumps also and then I'm gonna tie it at the back I got this durag from clicks like I don't know a long time ago in case you are wondering but I've had it for quite some time now so I'm just gonna tie it at the back just like so, that was a hassle I'm just hoping for the best after everything is set and then I'm really really hoping for the best so I didn't use all the other gels that I showed you guys at the beginning I only used um, the eco styling gel so maybe if it calls for it when we are done here then I might use those gels but for now this is all um, that I used and we're just gonna set this <sighs> and I'm gonna see you guys when we take it off hopefully I would have done my face as well by then and yeah everything will be ready to go I'll see you guys um, towards the end of the video okay loves so i am back with my face done and i'm wearing a grass now but you guys cannot tell if it's a grass or not uh, and i lied i realized in fact after i stopped the previous footage that this thing i actually used to do at the night before um i would put my ponytail on so i would actually let everything set overnight because i was thinking to myself why is it not drying after an hour it's been like four hours now since i've had the dog on just like this and then i went to do whatever that i did um throughout the day and then i also did my face and changed and all that so 
it still feels wet on the back i won't lie but i'm hopeful that everything is set and looking at least good to go for the video <laughs> at least i mean like for the video at least it must be good you know i'm hopeful i haven't checked anything i'm only gonna like undo this duke now with you guys and let's see let me just fix my mirror <laughs> let me fix my mirror so that i can see as well i'm really hopeful hey i'm really really hopeful okay hmm not bad i mean not bad at all this i can wipe away and of course it's not completely dry right up here and here also here as well but i mean we can work with this we can work with this and i need to blend my forehead because <laughs> i didn't remove the duke when i was doing my makeup but we can work with this um before i do that the blending and everything i think let's just try to put our ponders on and see how we feel but no this looks weird let me quickly bend this and then we continue with the video because this definitely is not it it's yeah okay so i think that looks better i think it looks better except for the line um that is from the dog which is just like an imprintment so there's not much that we can do with that so this is how um the pondo looks on the inside it has this um it has this thing um it's like a reckon thing a rubber thing i mean <laughs> Woo! and then it also has like combs there's this little comb on the inside i think there's like two of them yeah two of them on each side oh come on there's like two of them on each side so i'm just gonna loosen the rubber thing first just loosen it up a bit and then i'm gonna clip put the clips in the comb clips in and then pull everything we'll start this side okay i mean with there this should work i don't know how far should i put this in how far apart or away okay okay now let's try to tighten the the the, the rubber thing or rubber band <laughs> and see how everything feels that is tight but what do we do with this now <laughs> Cause that is oh I'm loving this it is tight but I don't know what to do with this okay I think I can just wrap it around somehow I don't know how okay and then let's just try to separate this and give it some volume Oh my word it's beautiful guys i'm loving it i'm really loving it oh my word i'm a baby doll okay let's put the second pondo this is looking promising and beautiful i'm just gonna use like a wipe to remove this little residue right here um of the of the gel and just make everything look look nice and clear and clean without any white patches um okay this is the second pondo that we're gonna use
Okay, let's tighten that up and then we're gonna try to fluff everything. I think it is tight enough and let's just wrap it around Okay, my loves, so this is everything I am living for this look. Like, I keep checking myself on the mirror right there because, child, <laughs> I'm so excited. Everything really worked out well. My hair is still like what here in the middle and like on the back, like towards the middle area. Most, mostly, I mean, it's wet towards the pom poms, but that's not like really a bad thing because the afro like from the ponders covers all those messed up areas but um i think it would have worked out better um if i had kept this like for overnight but what i'm gonna do is when i keep this hairstyle i'm gonna remove these ponders and set everything again like put back my duck everything and put back my duck for over the night so that everything is set and is still in place and then tomorrow i put back my ponders and i rock <laughs> <laughs> so that's literally what I'm gonna do. I don't know for how long am I gonna keep this I can probably keep it for like three days. I think because I really if I'm being honest I get irritated quite easily by hairstyles. <laughs> so I change them really quick quick So yeah guys, this is the end of the video I'm really really happy with the end result and I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and that you learned a thing or two from it and that it will help you if you're still a honey that's like me that's trying to draw your hair and you're just looking for ways to have fun and uh, basically play around with your hair and be able to wear it in like sort of easy and convenient ways this is easy sort of and convenient <laughs> it's easy if you do it the night before and then you wake up with your ponders already set and then you can just plug in these afro ponders and then remove them again i got this from like a chinese store and they were like for 75 friends i'm not sure if you guys can see the price there so they're like 70 whoa okay yeah there were 75 friends each so i just uh bought two of those i wish they were a bit bigger i mean i'm not mad at this volume but i just want like grammar you know <laughs> this volume is a volume that's good for me to wear to work and um yeah but for like content and just having fun grammar baby like but next time next time thank you so so much guys for watching this video and thank you for being part of my family if you are not yet please do not forget to subscribe and leave me a comment on the comment section down below let me know what you think of this look and this video and whatever that happened in the video basically please do let me know in the comment section down below and if you really love this video do not forget to give it a huge thumbs up i will see you guys on the next video i love you so so much bye bye